Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can return the number of non-duplicate items in a given range in Excel. To accomplish this, we're going to use the count a function and the unique function. So let's get started. On the left, I have a table with a list of serial numbers. Some appear only once, some appear many times. So let's go and start with our formula. I'm going to start with the count a function equals count a. Now what count a is looking to do is return the number of cells which are not blank in a given range. So for the first argument of our count a, I'm going to use the unique function. All right, so first argument for the unique function is the array. Our array is going to be our list of serial numbers. So I'm just going to select that range. All right, and now the next argument I'm going to ignore, but the third argument I'm going to actually specify a value. So there's two options here. The one that we would want is to return items that appear exactly once. So we're going to select true. I'm going to close the bracket for the unique function. I'm going to close the bracket for count A. I'm going to hit enter. And so now this returns 173 unique, or I should say rather, 173 values which appear only once in our list of serial numbers. All right, next, we want to count the number of unique serial numbers. So it's going to be very much the same formula. Let's get started. Equals count A. And then we're going to enter the unique function. We're going to specify our array. And now I don't need to specify anything else. So by default, unique function is going to return just the number of distinct items in our range. So I'm going to close the brackets on unique, close the brackets on count A, hit enter, and here we can see there are 200 distinct serial numbers in our range. All right, so for the final example, let's get the count of duplicate values in our range. Let's pretend like we don't know that there's already 200 unique values and 173 uh, non-duplicate values, which equals 27. Let's actually type that into a formula. So let's go with, <clears throat> it'll be much the same thing, equals count A. And we're going to nestle the unique formula once more. Select our range. Bring that down. And this is going to give us 200 distinct values. And we're just going to subtract that by the number of non-duplicates. So equals count A, unique, select our range. And then we're going to specify true for the final argument. Close that out, hit enter. Let's go back up. And there we go. So here you can see we have 27 uh, duplicate values in that range. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. Much appreciated. Have a great day.